Well, Dan, Salinas residents might remember last month when the FBI, Homeland Security, and U.S. Marshals occupied the neighborhood in Cherokee Drive uh, for a day and a half trying to get a wanted man out of his house. Well, now another warrant for, was made for his arrest, and we checked in to see if some kind of red alert was issued, and we learned that the task force has not been called in to help. My client is not chapel with money. The attorney of 30-year-old Agustin Leon Palomares says his client is not on the run, despite the fact that he failed to appear in court last week. Palomares was arrested four days after he escaped a 38-hour standoff in Salinas. Two weeks later, he posted bail and hasn't been seen since. His lawyer was in Mexico. I haven't spoken to him. Um, I, I cannot speak for him, but it, to me it is clear that my client uh, misunderstood that he should have been present. The original arrest warrant was for domestic violence charges. A neighbor remembers trouble with a woman next door. Sometime in January, she came knocking on a door and asking if uh, we'd call nine, uh, call the police to her because she, he had locked her out of the house. A Santa Cruz judge ordered a new arrest warrant, but the sheriff's office says there are no updates. Monterey County says it's not their case. Even though the standoff and capture happened in Salinas, the police say it's the U.S. Marshal's case, and the marshals point back to the Santa Cruz sheriff. The commander of the task force that brought him in says his failure to appear in court is a problem. We believe he, he is a flight risk, and I don't think any amount of bond at this point in time is going to keep him in custody. But at this point now, he is a fugitive, and he is running from the law. This has his neighbors on edge. I feel a little nervous right now, you know, because anything could happen. And um, especially with some mysterious cars, it's, it's always a different car that parks right here. And we learned from the commander of the Fugitive Task Force that on top of domestic violence charges, Palomares was being investigated for felony possession of firearms and vehicle theft. And his lawyer today uh, revealed that his record includes two DUIs and four misdemeanors. But the marshal says they can't step in to help unless local law enforcement asks for it. Dan. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate it. The, as for the court case, all hearings are at a standstill until they could find the guy. A uh, defense attorney claims he'll compel his client to turn himself in tomorrow. Also on the crime watch tonight, Salinas police are investigating a deadly shooting that happened early Sunday. Around 4.30 in the morning, police received reports of a man dead inside a home on in the 1100 block of Ranchero Drive. Police found the victim, 21-year-old Ruben Estrada, in the living room. Investigators say there was a party at that house Saturday night, and they believe an altercation led to the shooting. However, no one was home when officers arrived.